struck very common when we get to uh, understand uh, the design of a uh, uh, car in a way in this detailed manner because uh, today we have Simon and we have uh, the new Grand i10 uh, Neos and Simon uh, we just wanted to understand this is a new gen uh, Grand i10 we have seen yep. uh, the, the kind of changes you've made uh, first thing uh, how Indian is it I mean your inspiration what uh, Indianized uh, design elements uh, you're looking at well I mean I Firstly, just getting away from design elements, just looking at the Indian market. We say hatchback plays a huge role in this market still. So our first question is, is that continuing or not? And we say, yes, firstly it is. So the first step is, India has a, such a big segment of hatchback, we need to develop our i10 into the next generation. And so then we look at the i10, previous generation, this generation, see what do we need to improve for the local market? Um, improve its, how much it stands out, improve its uh, got more memorable character for the for the exterior and interior detailing almost a bit like a, a small cartoon character giving it that sort of character which is bigger than the car itself so giving that bold coolness uh, for the Indian customer um, and then of course on the interior digital uh, the consumer so digital here adding the digital level to it with big screen with Apple CarPlay Android Auto four different ways of charging in the car. So you get this strong character, memorable character, these little boomerang DRL lights, which is a standout. You could see them from 200 meters away. Um, and you'd recognize it from 200 meters away. And you'd say, oh, that, oh that's one of those. And that, that we, tr that's, we see is very important in India. And, and then when you sit inside it, I can just, I'm just fully connected, fully digital. And so those are real Indian factors that we've brought into, factored in. saying that's not very common in uh, global uh, model I think uh, India there is sorry, you were talking about a number of charging points yeah and, and, yeah and, uh, screens and those yeah. kind of stuff I think the the younger generation here is much more connected much more online much more um, if you like uh, open to that than other regions around the world so I think India there is ahead um, in wanting that in a product our challenge in design is being able to get find the balance right to fit everything in for the cost getting the cost at the right price so design and cost are balanced for the market as well uh, but I do feel India there is much more uh, uh, requiring much more digital content than, than probably other markets and uh, if you talk about the grand item did you yep. look at it when you wanted to uh, design NEOS yeah I mean we we look at what we have and say okay what can we improve what do we need to move that on to the next generation? How do we improve that? Uh, firstly, from the exterior, we look at proportion. Look at the proportions. How can we get a better proportion? And a customer will probably not say to us, oh, I love the proportion. They'll just say, oh, that looks right somehow. And so looking at wheelbase to front overhang to rear overhang ratio, body side to glass house, to get a, a, a proportion where the car just sits right, sits on its wheels right in any view, in any perspective. Uh, and that's the first step in the design of any new new vehicle. And so Grand i10 Neos, same thing. We want a more good proportion, more good overhangs that help us and just make the car sit well. And then add more content and more digital content and more characterful content. And that's what we've been trying to do, taking the past generation. First you ask, do we still need a hatchback? Clearly we do, the market is so big here. And then which one? And how do we execute it to fit in our product range right, but still improve everything compared to the previous model. And what is the most challenging aspect of this whole package? Well, and we talked earlier about what's the most difficult area of the cars to design. It's the corners. It's where everything comes together. And a lot of people don't realize that, where, you, where all the design comes to the front corner where the headlamp sits. And you have plastic parts, glass parts, metal parts, legal requirements, lighting requirements. If you want to say what's the most complicated bit, it's the front corner of the car. And, and so I think we've got not only a good front corner, it's a very characterful front corner. And, and in proportion, it works very well on the overall basis. So it's not just a corner and the rest of the car. It's very harmonized uh, looking design. It really fits together well. And the, and the lamp itself grows into this, this volume in the fender, which connects to the rear volume, which connects to the rear light. So there's a nice, nice all round harmony about the design overall, and that gives a nice strength in the design. One question I want to uh, understand, how do you see Indian customers looking at uh, styling and design vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, global customers? A customer who knows everything globally 
it was so connected, but give something that really fits their needs. And, and this is then hitting the right price, the compact car, but a good price with lots of space with the digital uh, interior, plus that you know, sort of funky detailing, fun, awesome detailing. And that's, that's what we think connects to our customers here. Thank you so much. Pleasure. And Good to meet you. Generally, uh, we miss out on these details because we are talking about pricing and <laughs> yes. different packages, yes. but it's yeah. great uh, you know, knowing uh, the, the story behind any horse or any car. For it, a pleasure to explain it. I mean, it's, it's not only the detail. The good thing is the detail looks so much better when the proportion works and the architecture works. And so the detailing is like down on the list, but it really, it's like the finishing touch. It's like the jewelry at the end and it just communicates the whole theme. And so we're hoping, we're expecting Neos to be a good success. Let's see. I hope so. Let's see how our viewers yes. and other customers are going to react. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. See you, man.